in 1970, I met the love of my life in Ozark, Alabama. This is the story of our adventures and our misadventures, our joys and our sorrows, and our journey through life together. By May of 1976, I had completed my studies at USF. I needed to have Saturdays free to attend the Newt Becker CPA exam review. I applied for a job at Ellis Banking Corporation and got it. Ellis is where I met Chuck McGinn. He was the treasurer of the corporation. We also soon met Karen, his wife. We developed a friendship that has lasted over 45 years in geographic divides. Chuck and Karen's daughter Susan was taking gymnastics. Melissa was growing tired of dance classes and she signed up to do gymnastics as well. Melissa did well at all events in gymnastics, but she excelled on the floor due to her natural talent and previous dance experience. During this time, we attended 10th Street Baptist Church. They had a softball team, and I played catcher and pitcher. In December of 76, you and I were chasing the mailman down the street every day at lunch. We were looking for the results of my CPA exam. When the grades finally came, all three of us were dancing in the street. The mailman would not let us leave without opening the envelope. Passing was 75. Theory, 75. Okay. Practice. 75. All right. Auditing was the hardest part. 
75, almost there. That only leaves law, 69. I had not passed. There were no grades between 69 and 75. Still, the results were great, well worth dancing for. Law all by itself was a breeze. I would get it next time. You found an ad in the paper. Arnold and Company was looking for a CPA for the Palmetto office. Jeff King was moving to Venice to be the manager and Dale Hoffner needed an assistant to take his place. I wasn't qualified, but at your insistence we wrote this letter and I got the job. Apparently, like you, they also thought I had potential. I continued to work for Arnold and Company and its successors until 1989. We have Dale Hoffner to thank for this letter. It remained in his desk from 1977 to 2005 when I rejoined the group. It has never been folded. In 1978, we began construction on our new home at 3709 Cedar Street in Ellington, Florida. We purchased the property from Roy and Corrine Woods, and we hired Kent Gertz to build it. We continued to live here from 1978 to 2002, when we moved four blocks. 